So I just hit the you, you're alive button. Now I don't know what happens next. This is I've never done this before. <laughs> how do we how do we how how do we know when it's live? Does it say live somewhere? There'll be a there'll be a thing that says a oh thing? we're live right now. We're live right now. Okay. So uh all right, go ahead, Ben. Do the introduction. Ben's not here. Ben's not here. No, Ben's oh, not gonna be on this broadcast. So oh, who's no. gonna do the introduction? Well, maybe Dave can do it. Okay. Okay. Let's get Dave. Let's. Dave, we, yeah, Dave's never done it. Let's get Dave to do it. Dave, yeah, go Dave, ahead and do it. Never done the introduction. Let's give it. Let's give him some time. There you go. Warm up and do it. Hmm. Dave, oh wait. Take Dave, it away. Wait. <laughs> wait. Isn't isn't Dave busy? Wait, Dave's not here. Dave's a little busy. Dave's not here. All right. Oh, okay. All right. I guess yeah. Joe. I guess you got to do it. Yeah, you're gonna have to do it. Time, the moment's passed. <laughs> the moment's passed. I mean, the whole, the whole they got rid of the card. The I mean, who cares? Who cares? Oh. We don't have the card. Oh. All right, oh. let's let's hey, just jump welcome. into it then. Welcome everybody to another amazing, amazing episode of Drink and Draw. It's just the three of us tonight. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, I'm sure it'll be two. I'm sure Jeff's going to find a, a reason to chart yeah. so out early. <laughs> <Yeah. right? laughs> Listen, I can hang out. I have eaten. I'm on a little diet. I've eaten already, so yeah. I can hang out until you guys get bored of me talking about how much I love Gene Colon. I am You're not. Gene Colon. I'm not on a diet, but I have very spiky hair today. I think I think I'm channeling Dan today. I do. I have very <laughs> spiky hair. It's like really. Wow. It's like. Uh, yeah, that's I don't know. That's I mean, you have the right shape, but you don't. Yours has too much color in it. Yeah, you got to get a little bit more gray. A little bit too much. Man, um, so but you know, you know what, you know, Dan. I think the, the the fact that we don't have the the um, dead weight. I was going to say baggage, but that's that's cruel, right? To, to say Not excess true. baggage. I, I think because we don't have Ben and and Dave, this gives us an opportunity to really, really answer some fan questions, right? You would think, but that sure. was, someone's got a man. That would, require, that would require attention on your part. On my part? Yeah, would. No, my no. part. Uh, how would I, I don't even know. Cameras. I have never, to be honest, never even looked once at the comments. And and uh, how many episodes have we done? Almost 100? Almost. We're heading there. I don't. All right. Yeah. Uh, Is this, excited? You know, uh, the, the terrible thing is that most of the comments are for you. Well, here's the thing. I think that oh god, I wish I had a beverage right now, but I don't. Um, Jeff, Jeff, you like you like a beverage that's kind of a a significant like ale, like an Oregon style ale. This is a Michelob Ultra. You know what? Here's the thing. I I believe that every beverage has its time and its place. A Michelob Ultra is really good if you've been say uh, exercising, um, which I don't know if you have been or not, or if you're yeah. trying to watch the calories. Yeah, I have a. I, I didn't go on a hike, but I, I did walk for an hour mm, outside. Mm. You would, there's, you there's would consider that a hike. hike. That's you a hike. Go where you are, yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. You're I turned talking. the comments off. I, I was distracted. I will show you the drawing that I prepared while I was uh, a straight up homage were, to Gene Colin. You were ridiculously excited about Gene Colin. Yeah. You, I, you know, I've been a fan. <laughs> I've been a fan of Gene. Uh, for as long as I can remember, and I and I think I've studied his work, and I've um, I've copied a lot of it, and I really like I love what he does, but I I've never been able to actually get any of it into my my own personal work. Like it's too yeah. it's too it's too good. I didn't understand it. I think when I was younger, yeah. There's there's too much happening. It's too subtle, um, and it wasn't until uh, I got a little bit older did I really kind of understand his genius. Not unlike Kirby. I didn't really get him when I was younger either. Yeah. It took me a while. I had to be a professional before I could really see what those guys were doing. Um, so I think Gene, like now I'm looking back at Gene. I, I, I wanted to show you guys some of this, the stuff I just pulled out of a box that was close by. Um, yeah. we, we don't have Ben. We don't have uh, Dave. Dave's um, busy, which is unusual for an artist. <laughs> 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 Ben's, Ben's busy. Um, yeah. So uh, you guys, we all know the classics, you know, these did, but here's something that I think that a lot of people might have forgotten about. I did. Gem, Son of Saturn. And this stuff is so good. And Dan, it's inked by, um, this one's inked by Bob McLeod. Oh, wow. Great. Bob. He's one of the first guys I, I met in comics. He's great. Um, and then this one, 
There's one in here. I think some of it's inked by, and this one's inked by Klaus Janssen. Oh, really? I'd love to see a Klaus Janssen one. Is that oh, the yeah. Or what about the insides? He did the inside, too. Wow. Yeah. Um, right, so it's just the, the I think one of the things that's tough about um, Gene's work is that it's so shaded and it has so much life that if you're not a good inker, I don't think you could handle it. Um, yeah, I tried inking them. I should try to find that. Um, Another I didn't one. Think it's such a hot job. Um, that's yeah. really cool. You guys have seen uh, Neil Adams re-inking some of Gene's stuff, right? Oh, no. Is it I awesome? Think, I think we saw something. To, I saw something on um, Facebook someone put up. And oh, yeah. He did show us yeah. that. Yeah. That cool. looked like it looked like Neil inking him, or it looked like really, really dedicated uh, Dick Giordano. Look yeah. at this crazy Klaus Janssen inked gem splash page. Like, Gene could draw everything. So he could draw kids um, that actually looked like kids and then crazy aliens and cool machinery. Like, he just had a – his control over the figure was stunning. Yeah. And his composition is – I mean, there's no one who did light and dark better in my mind. Like, I just think he his his shadows and his light compositions are, are – uh, can't be beat. Yeah. But did you ever get to meet him, Joe? Did you? Were, did you? Uh, work with him? Yeah, yeah. I got to meet you once. Did once. you touch him? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I mean, like shake his hand. I'm sorry. It came out weird. <laughs> it did come out a little weird. Yeah. Yeah. Just a bit, yeah. Sorry. Oh, classic. I mean, no, I, I, I did not touch Gene Colan. Well, if you shook his hand, <laughs> essentially, you did. You, you did touch him. So tell me the story, Joe. Did you you met him once? Oh, it was it was. It was uh, it was pretty uneventful. He just came up to the Marvel offices one day, and you know, I just said hi to him, and uh, you know, I was a big fan from from uh, you know, God, <laughs> I used to love his stuff. But you know, you look at his pencils, and and you just you you marvel at how anyone could possibly ink him, right? Because his stuff was so, I guess the I don't know if the I guess the word is illustrative, right? It's it's um, it wasn't just solid black and white. There was a lot of uh, you know, a, lot of, a lot of side of the pencil gray tone stuff. You yeah. Know? Um, and so, you know, when you saw when you saw a really great ink job, you know that the Dang inker it. working on that on that Gene Colan project um, was was a fantastic illustrator, too, because you just you can't ink a guy like that without having any sort of, you know, artistic skills. You just have to know. And yeah. You, to you know, that's why guys like like Klaus do such great work on them. Yeah, and Tom Palmer especially. Oh my oh, god, Tom Palmer was fantastic. Yeah. Um, do you guys remember? Uh, I don't know if it was the first comic shot from pencils or just one of the first. Do you remember Nathaniel Dusk? Yeah, that was beautiful. That was the first time I think I'd seen his pencils, and um, it was it was uh, it was it was definitely one of those moments where you're like, oh, that's yeah. what's going on. That's yeah. what's going on, and I need to go home. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like, oh, I get it. I don't know what. I have a long yeah. way to go. Yeah. I am looking yeah, his right composition, the way you put a page together is just ridiculous. Yeah. Also, his force perspective was amazing. Uh, yeah, like look at this one, you know, that swimming Namor yeah. shot. The cinematic lighting and, and just, just brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he had there's a there was just a creepiness to his work like he he did so I mean the horror stuff was not only really great because he understood the the right. figure and light and shadow but he just could really capture he could make something seem haunting and yeah. kind of scary as creepy as, did, as creepy as Dan's question about you know <laughs> not quite not no, quite as creepy as that. creepy yeah yeah mm. you know what we never do here in drink and draw what we never, get, Joe. We never get personal no that's true we never get personal. <laughs> We always we always keep this distance between us and the it's viewers, true. you know what I mean? And and we never we never talk about personal stuff. So let's start. How was how was your uh, week, Dad? How was my week? Yeah. Not bad. I Did mean, uh, week? are you are you feeling okay? Think good. It's fairly fairly busy. I mean, I've been you know everybody's everybody's doing a lot. Everybody's under a lot of you know, stress. I, you always say you're busy, but I never see you doing anything. You know, I mean, I'm I working on secret projects. I see you posting drink and draw stuff. You know, so yeah. you're busy on the show or, or mm -hmm. you know, getting ready for the show. But imagine if I got paid for that. <laughs> I, I would ask Jeff how he's doing, but I know, I mean, he always sends us updates. And for for those who don't know, 
Jeff Lee's a charmed life. <laughs> I, 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 I'm it's really good. It's always <laughs> like it's like oh here here I am on this glorious hike. Yeah. Look, yeah. look at these vistas. Oh, and now I'm going to stop. I'm going to take a little break, and I'm going to have some artisanal cheese and and a and a and an IPA that's like you know that's uh that's being brewed by you know the the, lo the children of the local brew, I don't know, whatever that <laughs> yeah. is. It's just just and then it's just I I don't think Jeff does it to make us feel bad about our own lives, but it really it really it serves really that. Kind of does. It's just sort of that's just sort of a lucky byproduct. So let me tell you, Joe. I don't know if I if I updated you guys or not. The other day I stopped at my favorite place. And I was having a local beer, and I was uh, reading a book and just sort of chilling out. And I met – Just reading a book. Just reading a book, just chilling out and having a beer. <laughs> and uh, I met a guy who was visiting my little town of Jacksonville from Toronto. And he was um, – he owned a chocolate factory. You met <laughs> him it's a you true story. <laughs> it's a true story, Joe. You you owned, make the sun. Sorry. He owned a chocolate yeah. factory. He gave uh, you a golden ticket. Then in Canada, happened? and he was moving the factory down to Ashland, and he had just been uh, looking at factory sites and signing deals, and he was um, stopping and having a, a beer also. And then we started talking about the, the local um, – food scene and the wine scene and when he comes back i'm actually supposed to go and take a tour of the new chocolate factory oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah it's it's pretty yeah. good it's pretty good here <laughs> oh, yeah action that's great that's well, great i'm glad you're i'm glad you're somebody's having fun during covid yeah yeah, yeah. I'm a very lucky guy. I honestly, I and and I don't know, just I think this is par for the course, but I did find a penny face up yesterday. Of so you did. wow. Doesn't surprise you, does it, Joe? No, I'm telling you. <laughs> Jeff Lee lives this life that, you know, again, I, I, I don't think I don't think anyone outside of our small text chain really understands. You know, yeah. it's it's on uh, like it's been it's been good for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been, it's been real good for a long time. Right, you're on a, you're on a run. On yeah, a great no, run. I definitely I'm in the zone. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's All like right. you know, there's some mornings I wake up and I'm just feeling really good. You know, I'm like, ah, oh, it's gonna be a good day. And then Jeff texts some photograph of like, oh, look at this lovely tree that I just walked. <laughs> wow. Today yeah. I'm today I'm bathing in a waterfall. Yeah, yeah. naked. Oh, waterfall. That is the only way to do it. There are some really great uh, like hot springs not too far from me that we should. When you guys come to visit, we should all go to. I think you'll love them. I'm sure we will. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Joe could handle it. Quite frankly, hot springs, of course, you no, can. no, just a day. I think Joe can handle obviously. I can't handle it. Yeah, I know what Dan's saying. I just, oh. I just don't know if I can, if I can take any more of Jeff Lee living this perfect life. <laughs> it's like that, that, you know, not everyone's supposed to have everything, and Jeff seems to have everything. And just, I, I, I cannot complain. I legitimately cannot complain. Yeah, things, things are going well. Well, I'll, I'll just go ahead and say it comics has been good to me. Comics has been exceptionally good to you. <laughs> it's been good. <laughs> There's a lot of complaining lately, but for you, it's been, it's been, it's it's been, been very good. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, the, the trick is just to uh, – I, I, I try and be really appreciative of, um, mm -hmm. of every day. I mean, I know Dan once uh, found me reading a book when we were younger called The Unfettered Mind. Remember that, Dan? Yeah, it bothered me. <laughs> my, mind, my mind is very fettered. Yeah, I mean, the trick is not to have a fettered mind. Yeah, yeah, clearly, clearly. Um, that's well, you guys seem to be doing okay. You have uh... no, no, not, <laughs> no, 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 no really. right. not like that, Jeff. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I mean, again, it seems okay. Sure. And then, and then, you, and then you, you, you know, and then you right. pop in with your, you know. Photos of you know uh, your artisanal cheese plates and <laughs> I apologize. Hey, yeah, Willy Wonka. Oh yeah, the Willy Wonka. Meeting, meeting a guy who owns a chocolate factory. 
Yeah, he's the grandson of Willie. Yeah. Or something. Oh, so he's actually the kid that won the golden ticket. Unreal. We actually had a very pleasant conversation. Oh, whoops. Oh, you know what? Yeah. You have not much good stuff, and then oh, the world's kind of he's going back. back. Yeah. What are you saying, Jeff? Do you guys know that the uh, the the best chocolate comes from Madagascar? Of course we did. Everybody, every any idiot knows that. Everybody knows that, right? Yeah. I, I did not know that. Oh, I did. I'm, I'm just trying to keep up with Jeff. I lied. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. Also, the also the best vanilla. Someday I'd love to go to Madagascar and check out the lemurs. Just for the chocolate? Uh, for the lemurs and the chocolate and just the general scenery. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. We all have. I'd like to go to um, the land I'm sure of the Jeff will, I'm sure Jeff will meet a, a lemur. He's <laughs> at. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. And next time he's at, uh, <laughs> yeah, his favorite. You have kind of a way about you. Uh, I uh, like I said, things seem to work out. Have you guys? Um, I'm sure you guys have been to. Have you been to Australia, Joe? You have, right? Uh, no, no, Jeff. I have not. <laughs> yeah, just comment. <laughs> of course, of course, you guys have been to Australia, right? Yeah. No, because I've never been to Australia, Jeff. I'm well, hanging out with no, hobbits all day. Uh, no, that's New Zealand. Um, but you'd like that too. The the Hobbiton has the best mm. beer I've ever had on the planet. Um, it's called uh, it's Hobbit beer. It's called South Farthing Ale. It's delicious, but you can only get it um, at the uh, the Green Dragon Inn in the Shire. What if what if I showed up with my Michelob Ultra? How do you think they? I don't um, know if you could. I don't know if they allow that. Yeah, uh, Gandalf would show up. Yeah, right, you go. cannot. You can't pass with this beer. Yeah, you shall not pass. <laughs> yeah, you shall not pass. So come on, Dan. Let's let's get some some questions here. Come on, please. Yeah, yeah. Right. Dan, I'm drawing. You read some questions. Well, uh, are these some personal questions about no, Jeff? The questions. I mean, you got you got. Oh, Dan's sorry. asking stuff. Look, sorry, you, I'm, you, I'm look, trying to draw look, here. Wayne Wayne says, Dan, your Superman was great. Look That's very nice. Well, thanks, Wayne. You're missing that. Well, uh, that's the type of thing I'd like to put up in the comments, like so the world could see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, 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 look. I, I'm I'm going to say public. I'm sorry, Dan. I'm going to say publicly what I what I what I told you in private. Yeah. I don't know, was it this morning or was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Uh, it was yesterday. Uh, your 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 Superman, um, red and blue story uh -huh. was, yeah. uh, was was great. It was wonderful. It really yeah. was. That was very good. Um, yeah. But I have one gripe. Too much red or too much blue? No, it, yours was actually <laughs> yours was actually orange and blue. It was Superman orange and blue. You did not follow the rules. Well, I did put some uh, red. It's orange and blue. Well, you know what? Take it up with my editor, lovely uh, Brittany Hausler. Was that a? Uh, well, I, just, I just know that you know if if I was ever hiring you for something that had two colors, I, I'm going to make sure you stick to those two colors. I think that's, that's right. I'm, I'm, you know, rules are rules. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if they're steadfast rules. Do you guys mind if I just leave this Wayne's comment up there the whole time? <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, my mouse was upside down. No wonder that wasn't working for me. Mm. Okay. All right. You know, without Ben here, this show's a mess. Well, it's... Right. Here's, here's my... Um, here's my Howard the Duck. Oh, you did you sneak Conan in there? Sneak? He's right there. <laughs> Well, Conan is, is that what is Conan? Is he teaming up with Howard there, or is he? Is sneaking the, is the Howard did not team up. Is he sneaking? It looks like he's sneaking up on Howard to me. It does look like he's sneaking in there. Well, I think Howard's a little scared, but I think Conan's going to help him out. You um, think? Do you remember oh. Dan that Howard the Duck knows Quack Fu? Does he really know Quack Fu? He does know Quack Fu. Hold on, you guys. You want to see this? You guys were well, you guys were jabbering and droning on about things. I did find my. One time I inked Gene Colon. Oh, let's see that. Not that good, though. What? Uh, that looks accurate. great. I think you handled yeah. it well. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Wait, let's find a really – look at that. Now, wow. That's a, wow. That's bananas. This is, this is what Gene was known for when he was at his, in my, in my opinion, his peak, where you're looking at just the magnificent way the guy spotted blacks on all this stuff. It's just yeah. perfection. Here's some pencils. I no, I heard you say that about my work, Dan. Thank you. So, <laughs> yeah. His um, yeah, his stuff is stunning. 
uh, Joe, did you look at his stuff when you were doing your Daredevil? Did you look? Were you? Oh, no, cool I, I, no, I, I don't mean that as a slight. I just, I just mean as a like that that Gene. I loved Gene. Uh, I loved his work, but it wasn't. Um, he, you know, I, I had other influences in my work, um, and you know, to look at Gene's stuff would just be madness for me. <laughs> <it was> so <laughs> so, yeah, I feel um, you there. Yeah. Um, but that I was my question about Gene. Gene. If anyone had felt Gene, yeah. No. So, Dan, any comments from me there? Anything for me to? I'm busy drawing. Not that I saw. Things. I just did a cursory look and I saw my name. Yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> of course, you did. Um, let's see if there's anything about Joe whatsoever. Probably not. Oh, here's something. No. Oh, you found one. Since we're getting personal, says Ooh. Matt Nick, 1983. I imagine that's the year he was born. Joe, are there still some things you've got on your bucket list you're waiting to do? Because let's face it. You are getting old. No, I, I added that part. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Matt Matt colors a lot of the cool, like he's colored Jeff's stuff. I think he's colored some of your stuff that we've done on the show. Yeah. So let's um, see. Uh, bucket list. Uh, first of all, uh, I got to find out who I have to sleep with to get off the show. Uh, well, <laughs> we, know, we, got, we know stuff about Joe, which is why we have him. Yeah. Um, uh, but no, I mean, you know, yeah, actually, I, I, I do have some things on my bucket list. Um, okay. One this of them, and, and actually, I, 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 one of the, I can't really talk about one of them because. Why not? Uh, well, you know, Dan, I actually, I actually accomplished it, but I'm not ready to talk about it. That's so, fair. Um, you even saw it, Dan. Sure. But, um, and you know, my, you know, my rule. Don't talk about something until it's a done done deal. Yeah, Which yeah. is hundred percent not my rule. No, not yours. <laughs> definitely yeah. not yours. Um, but yeah, I mean, th there's definitely definitely things that that uh, that I want to write, I want to draw, I want to film. I, it's just there's a lot of things still out there that uh, that I'm looking forward to. Um, I'm working on a on a little project right now. That's why I haven't been able to show my work recently. Um, that uh, I'm exhausted doing, not that I'm exhausted doing it, but I'm exhausted because I've been working uh, hard on it. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's, you know, I got story, I still have stories to tell and looking forward to doing that stuff, but it, I, I don't anticipate um, getting to it until this particular project is done. So one thing at a time, luckily I'm- Next question. You know, Do you mm -hmm. have like a, I don't know about you, Joe, but I have a pile, I have a separate, just a little shelf that I keep um, whenever an idea comes to me or a thing that I, that I don't have time to do. I just write it, I jot it down and I put it in a pile. Do you have something yeah. like that? I absolutely, I, I have, I have a file. It's, it's just an idea file that I have been keeping literally since, since the day I started Marvel nights. Um, because, because, you know, at, at you know, they, they are non Marvel ideas. Mm. So I figured, whoa, you know, so, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Yeah, they're non-Marvel ideas. They're, they're just stuff that, if I ever go back to creator own, these are things that I'd like to do. And some, you know, sometimes this, this, this could just be it could just be a sentence. Like if, if you read if you read my file, um, you probably wouldn't be able to make heads or tails out of half the stuff there because it's, it's kind of like little crib notes. It's just like a sometimes a sentence, sometimes three words that mean something to me. That right. you know, it's it's not always a high concept. Although some of them no. are high concepts, uh, and just things you know, sometimes I've written out pitches, like single page pitches for myself, just to have them, so that uh, and act, and actually some of them have inevitably had have seen themselves as Marvel projects. Um, uh, so yeah, you know, I, I, I yeah, I, I think uh, I think every creator has a list like that. Well, maybe with the exception of Dan. Actually, uh, one, of mine, one of mine actually came true. I was like, DC, what about a book? Hmm. That was just Superman, and we just used red and blue. Uh, orange, <laughs> orange, you know, orange and blue. Orange, 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 blue. Like it's orange right. and blue. Yours is orange like, and blue, and they said, they said, you know, we have a better idea, red and blue. And I was like, why? Why? <laughs> that, that is weird. I wonder why they would pick red and blue. That's so odd. Anyhow, they both put me on, like, you know, Joe went to, we both started relatively in the same space, and Joe went on to 
you know, edit and then, uh, you know, be the editor in chief of the entire Marvel comics for, for whatever reason, I still can't figure it out. I've never gotten a call like that. Yeah. You know, when it comes to just like those spot colors, like, like a story that's either has one color or two colors, was was Frank Miller the first one to do that in Sin City? Or was there I, one, one, one of the first? Huh? I would definitely attribute him as the, one of the first guys to, to make that like public. Okay. It, it just seemed to me that, that you know, in the world of black and white comics, somebody would have done a spot color. But I, I think I think Frank... Isn't there a V for Vendetta where it's black and white um, with just red? It was originally in black and white, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it has spot color or not. I, I, no. I'd, have to, I'd have to go look that up. Um, hmm. but, Fra but, but Frank did it in Sin City in like 1994. Yeah, with um, the, that yellow bastard, right? Yes, but I, I think yeah he used yellow and then I think at some point he used red you know yeah um, for like the lipstick and yeah, blood I imagine with Frank know. there was probably a fair amount of blood but and you know when you, when you talk about you know people who I looked for looked at when I was doing Daredevil um, Frank was one of them but really it was like guys like Basil Kelly you know but oh that's yeah sort of Frank attributed in a lot of ways yeah. so. Yeah, I got the hard part. Stuff. Stuff. It's nice. brilliant. That's the hard part for me. What part? Trying to keep those lines straight without using a ruler. Oh, the logo. Oh, okay. Huh. Um, Interesting. Anyhow, usually when I show people something like this, they just start clapping. So. <laughs> you know what? That is one thing I have to say is missing from being an artist. I, oh, yeah. I don't feel like it enough applause. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How cool would it be like after you finish like a page or a panel, suddenly like five or six people just there? Oh man, awesome, awesome. Yeah. All right, back to work. <laughs> back to work. Yeah. But I think yeah. ultimately that's, that's that's why we love conventions, right? Because it's kind of like it's kind of that. It is. That is definitely one of the reasons. Yeah. Um someone wants to know, um uh ask Joe what happened to the Ash comic. Oh, interesting. Uh, nothing happened to the Ash comic, actually. We, uh, when we got hired by Marvel to do Marvel Knights, uh, my company, Event Comics, was essentially Marvel Knights. Uh, and we couldn't, we couldn't do at, we just, we just didn't have the bandwidth to do all that stuff. Um, you know, and, uh, and then, you know, sort of life took over and, uh, you know, Marvel took over and, but he's still there. So maybe someday. I like the design for Ash. No, thanks. Well, uh, Joe, you can thank Joe. He's right here. I know. I, I'm telling you, I like that design. I was. I always thought Joe had a really good design sense. You created Big Guy too, right? No, I did not create Big Guy. Uh, that was uh, Larry Stroman. Larry Stroman. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. So you know, Larry Stroman was one of the first guys I uh, I inked. Oh yeah. Even even outside of like Marvel and uh, and DC, um, a friend of mine did a had a comic book company and he hired him to draw a cover and I got to ink him on that and then later I got to ink him on um, Alien Legion which I'm sure is a big favorite of yours, Jeff. I do love Alien Legion. Yeah, Larry's style is so unique. You know. Yeah. My dad. I was still living at home. My dad saw the um, the pencils that Larry Stroman had turned in. And he goes, "Oh man, you're gonna you're gonna ruin those." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "I felt so bad." I'm like, "Oh God, I really am gonna ruin." This. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. What were his pencils like, Dan? Were they like Gene Colan? Were they were they just really were really kind of lush and a little bit like coincidentally Gene Colan? They had that sort of um, illustrative feel to them. So even I, I mean, even I knew. I was like, oh, he's, "My dad's right as usual." Like. These, these, that's, that's like when you should have had the printing to, um, you know, to really utilize that. And that, that stuff should have just been shot that way. Hey Dan, will you show me that, um, that Dracula piece again that you inked? I have a question about it. It's really not that good. Honestly. Oh, I mean, it's, it's better than I can it, do. It gave me a lot of trouble and I thought I would ace it too. I, just, I did it in 2005. Or now so, it's 2003, it looks like. 
what uh what did what did you find that was difficult about it was there like the the gray tones how to approach those or just the well, the direction that, take a look at that hand dracula's hand for instance uh-huh um and it pops with jeans pencils right but if you look at my, like my inks there um and th i think i've gotten better since i i ink this this was right. a long time ago but um mm. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> right. But it kind of falls apart a little bit. And like you can even see, like, oh, I, I thought, oh, I, I need to add some uh knickknack lines on the lapel of his jacket, and that interferes with the um the thumb and the mm. way the palm of the hand comes out. And then if you look at the shadow underneath the uh cape, right, underneath his chin that intersects with the hand, it's just kind of scratchy. It's also distracting. I mean, there's just and, but if you look at jeans, if you go over there and you go, nope, that works. And the hand pops. It right. actually looks like it's three dimensional and coming forward. Um, there's just little things. Um, well, that's the nature of, of the pencil, right? Like in the, the pressure being able to, to no, delineate. A better anchor could, could ink that uh, better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think. For sure. Um, so. But thank you, Jeff. Well, I mean, I, I'm looking at, say, uh, the foot coming forward, right? Like, that is, you can easily have it be a solid black um, on the bottom of the foot there, which you sort of did. You have some highlights there, but his 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 line works, his pencil lines follow the form of that foot. So you could yeah. also have brushwork in there that... If I respected Gene the way I should have, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Clearly, clearly, I thought I, I knew better. Uh, it seems like his stuff is just really deceptive. Like it's deceptively simple and there's so much stuff in it. You would want to change some things to make it work better as an ink drawing, but I would not want to change a single line out of respect. That was a big problem when I inked you, I think you felt, right? Yes. The fact that you were unwilling to, uh, to alter any of my, any of my lines out of respect. No, no, no. I think quite the opposite. I think. <laughs> <laughs> he respected you so much that he got top billing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still angry. I'm still. I'm always going to. Oh, be speaking angry of top that. billing. Speaking of top billing, Jeff, you reminded me of a story. Uh -oh. Yes. Top billing. You don't remember, do you? Reminding me of that story. I don't remember. What was the story? Uh, okay. It was uh, when Dan and I were on the uh, Valiant bus tour. Oh yes, I do remember this now. Yeah, that was yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so so um, you know, I, I didn't even know that Dan had taken credit top billing over you. So, <laughs> so I, didn't take it, but I, I think I think just just through osmosis, or maybe you know, we were we well, you know, we're brothers of a kind, Jeff. So maybe we were we were we were telekinetically linked here. There's definitely uh, a connection. Definitely, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> we get into one day, but uh, so we're doing this Valiant bus tour, and it's like you know. How many people were on that tour, Dan? It was a bunch of us, right? It was like yeah, eight it was maybe? Close to, close to eight or ten or something. Right, right. And, uh, and we get to uh, one of the stores that we're going to sign at, and we're in California. Uh -huh. and, uh, and we get there, and we, it's been a long bus ride, and we're exhausted, and we're all shuffling into the store. And then uh, I hear Jimmy Palmiotti go, what the F, right? And, <laughs> and he starts laughing. Yeah. And uh, and he points to a sign in the store, and uh, the sign in the store says, "You know, today at our store, Joe Casada and some other guys." Oh, I love that. That made me so great? happy. Yeah, that's a true story. Um, Meanwhile, <laughs> I was the acclaimed penciler of profit. I was. I was. <laughs> yes. it, it was. It was a bit humiliating, and and uh, uh, but in retrospect knowing what Dan did to you. It's pretty I, awesome. It sounds pretty, awesome. you know, it feels like justice. Oh, I think so. I think so. Cause <laughs> I think that that's a million times better yeah. than, uh, you know, than Dan's little, well, I didn't like credit it. thing. Yeah, it's true. Thank you. Joe. I didn't like the tables being turned. You, you know, you never do. No one ever does. Really being turned. That's the thing. Yeah. You had no clue. Yeah. Now, did, were you behind that Joe? Was that your evil? <laughs> no. No, that's no. just the that's just the nature of being Joe. I mean, listen, I'm a lucky guy, and I just it just happened to work out that way. Yeah, yeah you just happen to be ex extremely lucky. Yeah, yeah. Dave doesn't seem to have a lot of luck, does he? 
No, Dave doesn't. Dave doesn't. Well, not uh, Dave. It's Dan. Dave. Oh, Dave, I I had 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 luck. Luck. nothing to do with this. Dan won the. No, uh, Dave has nothing to do with this episode. Dan won the lottery just by being a handsome son of a bee. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I can't I can't argue that. Yeah. That'll only get you a certain kind of work. It's true. <laughs> it's pretty good for me in the nineties, Joe. You, like, talent, talent wise, I don't know if I was quite there. So, yeah. uh, so where is Dave anyway? What happened to Dave? Um, Dave, I guess there was some problem with some Russian website of some kind. <laughs> oh man. That so again. He's, I don't know how he's going to work his way out of this one. He's really got himself in a pickle. Oh, when, you, when you like the uh, the Bolsheviks. Yeah. They've really found himself. Oh, you know, his, his charm is only going to get him so far. Right. So, Dan, it looks like you're drawing. So, do you like Howard the Duck? I like the idea of Howard the Duck. <laughs> What what pray tell would, would, would the idea of Howard the Duck be? <laughs> well, I mean, Jeff, how many Howard the Duck comics have you bought? Honestly, I have the I, I couldn't find it, but I have the tray paper, the gigantic essential Howard the Duck. You yeah, have the I, essential Jeff, Howard Jeff the Duck. Jeff strikes me as a guy who was weaned on Howard the Duck. I, I love Howard the Duck. I, I almost since that. you said you were drawing Howard the Duck, I, I had to put away. I was going to draw Doctor Bong. Oh, Pardon? come again. Yeah, so Joe knows who it is. Yep. Dan has no clue. Yeah. Dr. Bong. <laughs> Dr. Bong. His Dr. head is a giant bell. Okay. I'll, I'm going to assume that you, since we're all friends, you guys aren't goofing on me. <laughs> no, it's Dr. Bong no. is a great, is a great character. Yep. Is he a Howard the Duck character? Yes. Yes, Dan. He is a Howard the Duck character. Good. Important, especially yeah, today. That's a the Howard the Duck essential is a really great tomb. Would you say um, it's actually essential? I would. I would. If you if you Truth like Gene, it's some of his greatest work. Okay. Well, maybe I'll look into it, but um, probably not likely, honestly. But no, um, I don't think it's an audio book, Dan. So. Uh, <laughs> no, you know what I always liked? I like seeing drawings of Howard the Duck. I yeah. love I love the visual of Howard the Duck. Um, of course, I saw the movie when it came out. Great movie. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Great movie. God, they really. Leah Thompson, right? Yeah, well, it's it's a it's a wonder why Marvel didn't wasn't killing it back then. Um, Marvel Cinema didn't take off, but it didn't at that point. Listen, Howard the Duck is a fun comic book movie. Uh well, I didn't enjoy it as a kid, I, I have to say, but I, I bet they could make it work now. He's in the um, uh, the new Marvel Universe. Joe, is this true? Spoiler, yeah. Yeah. How? The duck. Yeah. Do you, do you not watch the after, the after, uh, the when after the credits, credits scenes? Out. When the credits okay. roll on, you, you missed Howard then. I never. I don't think that's fair for a filmmaker. Really? Wow. You mean you mean the thing that everyone loves and everyone does now? I'm with Christopher <laughs> Nolan on that. Where like when the movie's over, it's over. Mm. Full credits. It's done. Uh, I like I like that they've put scenes I afterwards. Want that um, I'm drunk because off I think Love Ultra, fellas. Uh, I think everyone should sit and watch the credits. Yeah, and, re and read the names. Do yeah, yeah. Do you feel that way? I think Jeff is right. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Thank you. Maybe one day I will. Maybe one day I will. <laughs> anyway, Howard the Duck is it is in the new Marvel Universe, Dan. Okay, so he shows up. He does. does he look like uh, Howard the Duck or the new Howard the Duck? Which, you know, no offense, just not a fan of the new design. Um, What's the new? I don't. What? He's, no, he's not, he, he looks he great. All right. He's, he's classic. He looks fantastic. Okay. I'll take the word for it. <laughs> uh, I always love the, 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 here's the thing that I really liked about Gene's work on Howard the Duck. Okay. What is it? It's the same thing that I loved about his work on, let me show you. Let me switch my camera view. Wow. Good technical there, Jeff. Yeah. You 
want me to, to watch this? Watch this, go. everybody. Stuart the Rat. Yeah. So Gene's work on Howard the Duck and Gene's work on Stuart the Rat did something that I thought only a really just fantastic artist could do, is he draws real people and anthropomorphized animals in the same panel, right? Like, he's yeah. able to create a creature that clearly doesn't exist, but light it, clothe it, draw it in such a way that it is 100% believable in the universe that he's drawing. And, and you're all into that anthropomorphic stuff, I know. So I love that, Chris. Yeah. So, you know, people need to take this as gospel when you when you rave about it. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, look, Dan, let's just look at his ink. Like, look. Look at it, Dan. Look Josh. at it, Dan. Look. Thank Dan. you. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> maybe you'll learn something, Dan. For once, maybe I'll learn something. Well, I know I'm the only guy who's actually inked him. You are. You are the only guy who's actually inked him. Yeah. So that's something. Did you see your inks? He, he actually saw them and wrote to me and he said, I've been inked by a lot of people. And I got to tell you, I a lie. you're one of them. This is what do you mean it's a lie? I didn't finish the sentence. This is, this is a lie. Dan, you're better than all of them, he kept saying. Mm. I go, that's not true. You know, because how humble I am. Yeah. Um, yeah, I yeah. said, that's not true. He goes, it is. Just like that. And I was like, I got to knock on with this guy. Since this is a gene centric show or it should be mm -hmm. who do you think is the best inker on him Klaus, tom palmer, palmer or uh neil probably all right joe Ooh, that's a tough one um but it was asked the question was asked regardless yeah, yeah no the last time i got asked a question i didn't like my answer uh <laughs> I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say uh this is softball i think i think tom palmer yeah, Tom. Tom had Tom was just such a great artist in his own right that he was able to, I think, interpret the pencils and bring uh, extra personality to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Though I think Klaus did the same. Like though, I think Tom had a, like a more brushy style than Klaus. I think that's fair. I think a lot of yeah. people would agree that Tom does have a brushy style. Were you expecting us to say you did? Well, I did ink him on that one piece of <laughs> art guy. I'm surprised I, uh, I, mean, I mean, I think, Joe, that is a great question. I think, Dan, we, we did not give him the answer he was hoping for. No. Yeah. no. I mean, I was the I was one of the guys doing the DBNR challenge. Mm. Hmm. Well, you know who I think would have been really cool to ink, uh, Gene? And maybe he did, but I just never saw it, was uh, Kevin Nolan. Oh my oh. God, that'd be phenomenal. I don't think we deserve that as a people. Probably yeah. not. Probably wouldn't be able to handle it. Yeah. Have you guys ever been inked by him? By Kevin Nolan? Why did I ask that? Yeah, we both have. I never have. Mm. Yeah. There's a reason for that, too. I requested him on a lot of things, and he kept on, they kept on coming back. He goes, he's yeah, busy. He's busy inking me or Jeff. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's funny. It's it's it's. Uh, I've had you know, I've had long conversations with uh, Tom Palmer and and Klaus about inking and the the art of inking and stuff like that. And it's just like, it's really profound to hear them talk about you know their their craft. Mm -hmm. They probably talk about me a lot, right? What was that? They probably bring me up a lot. Uh, no, actually, what I was going to say was that 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 in retrospect, as I start thinking about this about the. The times I've talked to to Klaus and and, and Tom, uh, mm -hmm. both who are just like just like true gentlemen of the industry, mm -hmm. uh, I've never really heard you talk like that, Dan. I've never really heard you um, really you know consider the artwork the way that they do, which is interesting. Yeah, you know, huh. it's not a slight. I'm just saying that's it's just an observation of yours. It's just interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, like you know, yeah. you you inked me. For a while there, you know. Yeah, and then you quickly, as soon as you had any sort of like, you know, popularity in the business, that was over. Like that, that was one of the first things. And we, I think, we were hanging out at the time. He goes, "Hey, Dan, the gravy train's over." I think you said. <laughs> Is that how you phrased it? Yeah. Uh, then he, he goes, yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that sounds like Joe. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. That's, that's really sounds like him. The yeah. gravy train. Yeah. And I was like, Jesus, yeah, that's no what I am. The gravy train. <laughs> <laughs> 
agree. Because you're gonna have to get used to this. Solid, yeah. you know, yeah, so, is going to come at you hard and fast, kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is the first. Yeah. By the way, you might as well hear this from me, which I respected. Yeah. I really didn't want you to hear from me, but no. I couldn't find anybody to say it at the time. So. Wait, wait, no Owsley one else would step up? Yeah. Jim Owsley wouldn't say Nobody it. Nobody actually cared enough, to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. Well, Jim Owsley was like, you have, you've had this coming. Yeah, Dan was forced on me, actually. Yeah. So it's true. Yeah. He was Owsley's guy, not my guy. I was on Owsley Owsley was a real gentleman when it came to um like the editing process and, and, and creators. He was very uh cool yeah. about that. Jim was awesome. Jim he kind of taught awesome. me he kind of taught me some lessons about respect that I didn't have prior to him. Oh please tell me. Like what? <laughs> Well, I mean, it's a little negative, but I wanted I wanted to be doing more on the book, um, so and I, that that would require someone else doing less. Um, and he was like, "Well, that's somebody else's job that you're <laughs> that you're actually going to be taking away because right. that because that's not that's not how it's done. That's and, not cool. Uh, yeah, so I I hadn't really. I just thought, well, I want to, you know, I want to do it. Like that's, mm. that, was, uh, that was my rationale. So. Right. Right. Just give it to you. Because just, to me, the, the 21 year old. Yeah, you kid, deserve it. You deserve it, Dan. You've worked hard for it. I, I hadn't really worked that hard. That was probably yeah. part of the problem. Other people. Right, right. Yeah. It's so funny to, to have been in this industry from such a young age because I, I feel like, A, getting in in my 20s i i didn't know what i was doing as a as an artist and i certainly didn't know what i was doing as like a business person it took me a long time to figure out all the you know the stuff that i should have known <laughs> like like how to how to how to meet deadlines how to fill out forms how to talk to people how to i mean all that stuff i had a lot of really um uh, some less than pleasant experiences <laughs> when, I, when I was younger. Hmm. Yeah, all all thanks to myself. Uh, I'm sure so Dan you, you had a few regrets. Thing. I mean, yeah, a lot of them were Dan's fault, but uh, I have no one to blame but myself. Yeah, you are gullible when it comes to dance. It's yeah. true. I don't know what it is. I think it's something about. I can't believe he would. After we've been friends for so long. Why would he still do this to me? <laughs> Makes me happy. Because you still fall for it. <laughs> I still fall for it. Yeah. yeah. So Dave always know. doesn't think I can get, get him and then I inevitably get him on, yeah. on a daily it's, it's, basis. It's like the easiest one to get. I get him on a daily basis. He hates he hates to admit it. Yeah. Who me or Dave? Dave. Yeah. And he goes, You can't fool me with that. You can't and then I actually do. So you've only gotten me on a rare occasion. But when I do, you really don't like it. I can't remember when you have, though. I'm just trying to be polite. <laughs> so look at that. I got you. <laughs> you got me on that one. Yeah. Nice. That hurt. Oh, Dan, can you move your drawing up a little bit so I can see it? Right now, I'm just looking at your light table. Are you going to try to um, steal my idea? This, this, Joe actually texted me this entire layout. <laughs> <laughs> How, the Howard the Duck? Yeah, Conan. That, I don't like that one that much, so it's not one. Of my <laughs> You're not going to take credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> I do like, I do really like your coat. Look, well, right when he's supposed to be complimenting me, he uh, yeah, look at that, look at that. Mm. that Feed went out somehow magically. Is he gone? No, wait, am I gone? No, no you were. I thought you were for a second. <laughs> um, ooh. Mark Mark Solomon's asking, when is Frank coming back? You know what? Maybe uh, Frank would behave himself a little. Ugh. <laughs> we can make that happen. Yeah. Frank does not like to be censored. Oh, God, no. no he <laughs> really hates it. Um. 
Joe, if we're keeping you up. You kind of are. Well, you've been putting a lot of time into that uh, that project you're working on. The page, the the one page, um, looked amazing. I'm not going to say anything about it, but the it was very impressive. Thank you. Thank you. What about the thing I sent? My secret project. I have a secret project too. You know. Do you like that? Yes. Yeah. Was, that, was that that thing you sent today? Uh, yeah, the coloring. I I kind of finally worked on the coloring. I did, I did. I did like it. Yeah. You did. Thanks. Huh. Interesting. Well, That's usually you don't say interesting. At that point, you're supposed to say, "Oh, I really like that." <laughs> I did. I did. I like. It was interesting. No. Well, I mean, if it's interesting. It's not not a comment. Wait, hang on a second. If I find something interesting, does that mean I don't like it? No, but there's something a little bit like I prefer. Like I don't know. You have to change the subject. Let's change the subject. Yeah. Uh, what? Wait a second. <laughs> it was a very. It was. It was really. It was a beautiful page. Yeah, it really was. Thank you. Um, I, I just want to change the subject, so I'll say anything. Get out of here. Um, yeah, have you guys seen the 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 uh, the most recent uh, Ken Burns Hemingway documentary? I have not. Is it good? Uh, I I just started it. It's it's unbelievable. It's really fantastic. You know. So excellent. Did you guys do the movie Captain Fantastic? What? There's a I did not. Captain Fantastic with um, who's the guy who was um. Oh, excuse me. He was he was the ranger in Lord of the Rings. Jeff, you know him and love him. Uh, Vigo Mortensen. Vigo. What does that do with Hemingway and Ken Burns? Well, uh, just fantastic. The word fantastic. I just saw the movie on Netflix. Yes. Just, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Actually, you know, there's an off Broadway play called The Fantastic Studio. You didn't bring that up. Right. What about the Fantastic Mr. Fox or whatever that is? I see. Is it the uh, so Hemingway? Huh. <laughs> Jeff, it's a, it's a look, Dan is a read, so this is a this is just you know I'm wasting my time here. Just, yes, like, I'm a big time I'm a big time writer. I don't know if you guys know that about me. No, I didn't you? know that. Oh. Did you know that, Jeff? I've heard it from okay. Dan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dan is a big time writer. Yeah, I would. I, I'd say it like this: I'm a celebrated. Your reviews writer. are in. Right. Yeah. yeah. The reviews are in, and I check the reviews. So if you really want to hurt me. That's the way to do it. You do search down reviews about yourself, don't you? I do. I like hearing the feedback because even bad feedback is yeah, useful. Yeah, but reviews, yeah, it's fan feedback that matters. Reviews, reviews don't pay the rent. Dan, as a writer, as a professional writer, go on. How what? How did you study the craft of writing? Did you read a book on it? Did you read a lot? Or are you just when, telling your story? Yeah, like, when, what's do you your, start, when do you start? Yeah. When did I start? <laughs> no, when did you start? Never mind. You know, I start early, early in the morning. I start with that that morning bit of like, like nice um, fluffery for you guys. I'm like, let me let me uplift everybody. A little bit of advice. You're stealing my stuff. I think you haven't been paying attention to my my um, my Facebook. My Facebook is a um, it helps a lot of people. It does. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't waste time on Facebook. As you, I mean, you are. Are fairly rotten. Jeff, uh, is, Jeff is the best <laughs> among us. You know? Jeff, Jeff is a good egg. I just live in a. I live in a really blessed world. See, I don't even look at the world that way. I live in a blessed world. The world's I'm, falling I'm, apart, Jeff. Not, not over here. Oh God. <laughs> I'm drawing Doctor Strange. Everything's rainbows and chit chatting with buddies, having a pretty good time. Yeah. Jeff, if you were writing a story, who would you base it on? Would you base it on Dan? Could you do that? If I was basing, like, uh, what kind of story? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Like, right, if you were, if you were going to write a story with a character like Dan, what kind of story would it be? Great would one. definitely be a. It, um, uh, it would be a coming of age story, probably. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I probably set him. I'd, you know what? I'd have it be a coming of age road trip story. Not unlike uh, a sure we thing with Tom Cusack. Trip. We've been on road trips together. They're quite fun. Yeah. That's the rumor. Yeah. <laughs> You've been on a road trip with me. Once. On the bus. Said. On the bus, on that beautiful bus. Yeah. How long? Would, how many places did you guys go during that trip? We went to a lot. Know, lost, and the bus broke down at some, one point. It was pretty awesome. 
That does sound like an epic trip. Yeah. When they're bleeding, they're bleeding they're behind. Behind. Well, I'm really. I'm, this this sounds such like a fanboy, but I'm really having like some Neil Adams like. It looks like really bad Neil Adams here, having a field day. Nice. <laughs> so funny. Nice. That Neil yeah. Neil really did a great great Conan. I, I really wish he would have done more. Honestly, Neil Adams he did yeah. do some great Conan. He, he he and the like the Krusty Bunkers crew or um would occasionally like ink some Buscema or they'd get a hold of um you know Marvel would be late and they'd go who who can we get to to do this and they some Gil Kane stuff like they really kind of got their hands on a lot of stuff and uh, man. Such good inks, such such fun. Again, I have a technical question for you. I'm there. I'm your man. I know, um, and it's not about inking or anything. It's about you're pretty oh, good right. letters and uh, lettering. I attribute that to my father. He was he, he did he started out as a letterer and he was really good with fonts and. Um, who was um, who designed the logos for say Howard the Duck, Doctor Strange, and like that that era of uh, Gene Colan? That he was doing stuff. Do you know who was doing that work? No, I don't. I wish I. Did. I really, I really love that era of of logos. They were really good. Yeah. You know, like Todd Klein would probably know the answer to that without a doubt. Like he's a real student of the the game, and, and when it comes to that, I think that uh, the letterers and the logo artists are sort of kind of unsung heroes in a lot of ways. Like there's so much personality in this Doctor Strange one that I'm working on now. Um, mm -hmm. It's just super creepy. Yeah. You think a logo is creepy? Yeah, the yeah. Doctor Strange one is kind of cool in that way. It's cool. I just don't know if the logo lo is creepy. Is it eerie? Ha Maybe. Haunting? Well, no, I was, I was doing a creepy. I mean, I, I, I almost don't want to say it. Strange? <laughs> <laughs> Who needs Dave when we have comedy gold like this? <laughs> Yeah, we're 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 operating on all cylinders. Yeah. Wonder if Dave. It'd be nice if Dave. You know, Dave's watching. It'd be nice if he kind of. I I thought he was busy. Well, it doesn't mean he it, it, was he just asleep. He's probably watching the show. Um, I imagine. Dave? No. No, you don't think no. he is. So. No. Why would he be watch? I don't watch when I'm not on. You don't? Yeah, me neither. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you don't watch me your own show. percent of the time when I'm not on is because I don't want to be on the show. I'm not I'm lying about, you know, <laughs> what to do. So why would I watch it? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. On it. That really hurts a little bit. Well, I do like you know. just listening to your dulcet tones. Thanks. Well, we used to we used to chit chat a lot on the phone um, back in the day pre pre internet. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like one. Yeah, back, one when we, back when we could hang out in person, we used to talk on the phone a lot. Oh God, yeah. it'll be so nice! I can't wait to uh, to start traveling again. It's going to be so oh, yeah. good. Oh yeah, we got to plan a drink and draw excursion. Absolutely, uh, that'd be fun. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. Something we can make that happen, Dan. Only if, I don't know. One person could probably make that happen. So had the wherewithal. To make that happen. Bring us all together, one place. Yeah, I don't know. All right, how is possible? Frank Thierry. All right, I don't normally look at the comments, but I've tried looking at them a couple of times. Mm -hmm. right. And and I I wasn't I didn't understand how to do it. You mean like just read them? I guess I'm okay. I'm scrolling down. There you I'm go. There you reading. go. There we go. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's all the gold. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, you, yeah. you you out of everybody on this show would be fascinated with the comments. You would I'm sure them. I'm sure I would, except that I'm usually um I can't do more than one thing at a time. So right. right. Drawing, drinking, and uh loving. <laughs> loving. Um all right. Yeah, excellent. And I can't read and talk at the same time. That's news. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm very single. Very single-minded. 
Oh, interesting. Not, yeah, not unlike um, laser focus. Kitty well, cat. more of a lemming. Like I do You're one thing, <laughs> like a little kitty cat. <laughs> All right. Are you, are you the goldfish of drink and draw? Exactly. I, I have a five second memory and yeah. I'm constantly bouncing into the glass. Yeah. My favorite parts of Ted Lasso. I don't know if you guys saw it, Chad. I still haven't seen it. Oh. Uh, you goldfish. No one has besmirched Frank Thierry in, in 20 minutes. That is, that is true. We like to get our licks in there. Ah. Yeah. They were. Yeah. Well, the, the best part about besmirching Frank is that Frank Frank doesn't really, you know, <laughs> really get online or on the show. And, you know, he, he's, 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 he's defenseless, basically. Yeah. I, you know what? I, I know it's weird. I love the word. I think besmirch is a funny word. Yeah, okay. you love besmirch. <laughs> it, just, I mean, it just cracks me up. Right. Jeff, how much have you had to drink? There's nothing. Oh. I'm dead sober. Maybe that's the well, problem. What, what other words do you enjoy? <laughs> um, I I do love um, Cucamonga I think is a funny word. Rancho yeah. Cucamonga. <laughs> Rancho Cucamonga. Um, I like the I like just saying the word prodigious. Mm -hmm. I know nice that about you. That's yeah. true. He's not lying there. Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I do like saying that word. And um, what other words anyway I really enjoy? Um, oh, well, you, there was a few. There was a few. Remember we had to keep saying them. I, I like juxtapose. juxtapose. Juxtapose is a great, oh, is a nice great word. word. It's a really yeah. nice word. Juxtapose. A huge Jeff word. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love dichotomy was a big one for you. Autonomy, I love. Uh, no, dichotomy. Dichotomy is great. Uh, I us, love that. Ostensibly is great. Oh. I, like, I like writing paradigm. Ooh, yes. Because it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't look like what it should sound. You know, it's true. Or does it sound like what it should look? Paradigm. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. We're like doing like last last year. Dad yeah, was like doing this. I <laughs> was true. texting me like, even try if he knows I own pieoven.com. <laughs> Dad was like texting me. He's like, give me some good names. I was just texting him names and he was just like buying the website. He was like, no, <laughs> Wait, hold on. What, is, what I mean, I'm gonna hate myself for asking. What is a yeah. pie oven? Well, it's where you where you would bake a pie, Jeff. God I damn it! I, I knew I shouldn't ask. I why? Knew you why, would, why wouldn't you? How else are you getting your pie? Magic little pie elves. <laughs> You're right. Oh, I regret. I regret everything. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, I thought Joe would buy pieoven.com, and he didn't bite. Yeah. <laughs> He's so weird. He didn't jump at pieoven.com. There's yeah, gonna be some pie. There's gonna be a pie company that's like, I need that. I need that. I can't accept anything less than pieoven.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it'll be me. I <laughs> go. How much do you want for it? And I'm like, you can't afford it, buddy. You can't afford pieoven.com. I have pieoven.org and .net and yeah. oven pie. I have yeah. them all. And I'll go. How much you got? And I go, well, we're making a fortune on pies over here. Everybody wants something. I'm like, good. Yeah. Give it all to me. <sighs> I know I'm going to hate myself for asking this question too. But are we talking about your standard dessert pies, or are we talking about savory pies? Yeah, I just just... Bought, I just bought the domain name. Okay, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I'm an <laughs> entrepreneur. Sorry to yell at you, but you make me angry. I know. <sighs> Anyhow, Joe recognized how good of an idea it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right away. I knew right away. Pie, pie of it. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, Jeff, how would you be in a meeting? Let's say it's a bunch of like big, big time. He <laughs> had me a pie. <laughs> he, he lost me at all. No, I mean, let's say you're in a big meeting and they're like, we want to name this company Google. Uh -huh. Yahoo, all these wacko names. And you're like, yeah. I don't know what Google, what can I do with a Google? Mm, I don't like it. Twitter, it's on you it's just it's, it's a website that sells bird feed. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm a multi gazillionaire, Jeff. You're right. I apologize. Pie oven is brilliant. It's yeah. brilliant. And I own it. Wanna buy it? <laughs> yeah. You know what pie <laughs> oven it seems to me like pie oven is the um 
the reading railroad of uh, of of internet names. I think if you are starting a new business and you don't jump on something like Pie Oven, you're missing out. It's true. Mm -hmm. Think about you know, it. I I missed when we were talking about Gene Colan. Yeah. Gene who? <laughs> yeah, I love Gene Colan. You love Gene Colan a lot. He's so good. Yeah. Um, hold on. This thing's almost done, Jeff. I'm almost finished with mine. I know. I'm very far from being done with mine. I'm much slower that's what than I don't, you. That's one of the things I don't like about you. I know. It's well, the any, thing that most people many, don't like about me. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's universal. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here's what we're going to do, Jeff. This is, where Inky, this is where Inky comes crazy. A lot of people don't like this. I do. Um. Oh God, where'd my coffee cup go? I can't. All right, you guys might have to carry on for a second while I. Uh, oh, no. God. You guys might have to get along without me, you know, helping you out conversationally. Um, what are you? Where, where are you going to? Well, I got to. I need water to dilute the ink, and uh, looks like my wife threw out the water. Mm. Huh. Interesting. So, I'll be right back. Are you Don't mind me. Yeah, I'm gonna put myself on mute so when I scream at my wife and and um, you guys don't hear it. Okay. okay. Uh, thanks, okay. thanks, Dan. Fair? Okay. Yeah. Sure, sure, Dan. So, so Joe, just, you've uh, drawn you've drawn Doctor Strange, right? I have. Um, I what a like when you approach the eye of is it Agamotto Agamato? How do you pronounce Agamotto. that? Agamotto. Agamotto. Um, have you ever drawn it open with the eye open? Always. I've never drawn it closed. Interesting. Well, I mean, it, it's boring closed. It's just an orb. Uh, agreed. Right? I'm just drawing a little thing. I'm doing that little thing on his chest right now. And, right. Uh, and I just, it's, it's like, one of my it's like, it's like, have you ever drawn Batman, but the bat's wings are, are flapping inward? No. No. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know what? Actually, I have drawn him once or twice where it's, I used it as the cape to show where he was coming from. And they're like, it's more of a straight line than a full extended bat. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I think Dan went to look for Dave. Guys, I'm back. Oh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Good news. Yeah, so you got some ink, some water for your... Jeff, I'm an ink uh, fellow. Hmm. A bit of an ink fellow. Let's go close yeah, where, do you, where do you go for water? Do you go to... Is there a, like a well that you go to or... I go to a spring. There's a little spring in the back of our little, house. Little mountain spring. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't live the life. I don't live the charm life of Jeff. Right. Right. Just got a full on waterfall. Yeah. There is one not too far from my house. Of course there is. What's that? <laughs> What's that noise? What? That's the, the ping. Yeah. I heard a ping. That was my uh, Apple Watch. Wow. Do you have like one of those iPhone deals? I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah, pretty high tech. I'm I'm pretty uh I'm pretty high tech. Yeah, I got a I got a pretty uh a complex tech. system here. Yeah, I got three screens, four screens running actually, right oh. now. So, yeah, I yeah. Uh, but that's that's when you're a professional. That's what you do. You uh, yeah, you've been in the business a long time. Yeah, you you your gear is important when you're a professional. Yeah. That is for sure. Yeah, when you when you go to Vegas, lastly, mm -hmm. do you bring any gear? Or do you have do you have like a, a kit of any kind? A Ve you mean a Vegas kit? Yeah. Do you have any sort of thing like that? You mean like a special lucky shirt or um, yeah, anything? You have like, like, a, like a gambling thing? I don't know. <laughs> Jeff is the mush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I would. Yeah. You don't want Jeff around when you're in Vegas? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> are you good luck at vegas has dave ever pushed you away from a table you know i'm not really much of a gambler um my uh the thing i like most of vegas is that there's a really there's just a ton of great art there so i wander around and look at the art there I is never noticed the great yeah. art in vegas I, I, are you hanging out with steve Wynn or like what's going on uh, well, I I cannot no, I can't spend so long since I've been there. I think it's the Bellagio has the largest installation of um, blown glass 
hanging from its ceiling in the world. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's tons of great art just floating around. You ever look at the blown glass exhibit, Joe? <laughs> you guys have never seen the blown glass exhibit? Um, yeah, there's a lot of hidden gems just in Vegas. I know with the Excalibur, there's a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, I used to like that. Is that still around, the Excalibur? I don't know if there is or not. It's been a long time since yeah, I've been to Vegas. Excalibur's kind of a popular main I like the, I like the, that's probably Joe, Joe being a true New Yorker. He's not probably a big fan of the New Yorker hotel, but it's kind of a fun little place. I, I know what, what I, I stayed there once and what I didn't like about the, it was, it's called New York, New York, isn't it, Dan? Yeah. 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 I think what, what I didn't like about it was that, um, I'm not a gambler either, but you know, uh, I will play blackjack because I just find it fun. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I remember distinctly like the last time I was in Vegas that New York, New York had the, uh, had the uh, sort of endless deck, you know what I mean? Where they, it's, it's just the, the, it's the machine that just, you know, they, they just drop the cards to the machine. So it's either, I don't know if it's four or six decks or whatever, but it's constantly rotating. So they don't mm -hmm. go through a deck and then put it to the side. So you literally stand absolutely no chance whatsoever. You know, <laughs> right? It's like, it's like you know, I I don't have the wherewithal to count cards, but I at least have a sense of like, okay, I've seen X number of you know, aces or, or high cards, so you can make at least some sort of reasonable assumption. But when the machine right. is just constantly you know rotating the same deck of cards, your your odds of losing go astronomically higher. Yeah, you know, it's I like at that, point, it's, at that point. It's not even there's no strategy. It's just it's just absolute luck. You might as well just be playing roulette. So, mm -hmm. so that's my last memory of New York, New York. Is there – um uh, Dave has a system for roulette, doesn't he? Doesn't no. he like roulette? I mean, he does like roulette. I, I wouldn't call it – if he has a system, he's not, like, sharing it. But, ah, um, it's not working. <laughs> no, no Dave, I mean, I've watched, I've watched Dave do pretty good at roulette. Dave will typically walk away with around three grand every time he plays. Yeah. Wow. He's, yeah. He, roulette's his game. Wow. Yeah, Dave's, Dave's Dave a good is not player. much. Dave is like Lady Luck. Yes. Yeah. Luck I think that, I don't know. Davey tonight. <laughs> yeah. Luck. He goes, kiss the dice, Dan. I'm like, I feel a little weird, but I'll do it. <laughs> That's a little personal. Especially yeah. since he's, he does that in the room. Yeah, we're in the hotel room. <laughs> Especially when, he does it, when he's not in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> kiss, kiss the dice, Dan. Why kiss are the some... lights off, Dave? Yeah. Don't ask questions. It's lucky this way. Yeah. It's, it's gross. Play along. I'm on a run. Yeah, but we're we're, we're friends, and that's what friends help other friends out. That's how. Sure. It works. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Are you guys jealous that I don't use you for my inspiration for my? No, uh, no really. I, no, I'd have. I probably had to send you a cease and desist if I felt you were taking advantage of me. You know, it was one of the characters. You know him, Jeff, and love him. No oh boy, Eddie Hagel. Oh yeah, well Eddie's a great character. Yeah. So, uh, speaking, of, speaking of Vegas, so so, uh, don't you like the Rat Pack at all? I do. Oh. I do. In fact, I might be. I might be. Uh, I might have drawn a little something last couple of weeks ago, didn't I? No, oh, did you? Where was I? You were bouncing around some somewhere. You're kind of a Rat Pack guy. Yeah, I mean, I, would you consider us the Rat Pack of the comic machine? Certainly, of Drink and Draw, I think it's kind of a fun Rat Pack, right? Certainly, Rat Dean somewhere. I don't know. Can I be Dean? Is it? Can I be Dean? Dean Martin? I right? want to be Dean. I want to be Dean. You want to be Dean? I can, well, who can be Sinatra? I don't know. Dave. Yeah, I'll be Sammy. Sammy's cool. Sammy's not bad. Sammy, uh, Sammy's, Sammy's better than not bad. Sammy's cool. He's super cool. It's true. Candyman. Yeah. Hell of an entertainment. Candyman. The candy oh, yeah. because he mixes it with love. Always. So. You know, just ask Jeff. He met the candy man. I did. I met the actual candy man. I met Jeff. a candy man. Uh, how do you know he isn't the candy man? Well, until I see the factory, I can't be sure. I love that he has a factory. It's not. I, yeah, I love it's, that you have you have stipulations. <laughs> yeah, I can't be sure until I see the factory. Yeah, 
You can't and just be like the yeah, yeah, empty yeah. store. Jeff doesn't mm-hmm. just claim anyone the candy man. There are yeah. there are there's a protocol. There's a candy man protocol. We don't just give yeah. that away. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Did you have um, dreams of one day meeting the Candyman, Jeff? Was that like a thing? For you? you know, uh, most of my dreams involve me drowning and uh, my teeth falling out. So no, I haven't had the um. Huh. Well, well, enough candy. If that's possible. <laughs> yeah. Well, drowning dreams are in- interesting because it just it just you know means you're trying you're in the throes of trying to solve a problem that you feel out of control with. You're yeah, I I don't I don't know. Do you ever do any lucid dreaming? No, but I have done dream I've have done dream analysis, which is really cool. Uh, one of the you guys like to ever have me analyze your dreams? <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd be go, fun. Go ahead, Jeff. I'm sorry. So one of the I, things I, I didn't mean to have someone interrupt you. You're right. Sorry. One of the um one of the 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 signs for me from that I have noticed for recognizing when I'm in a dream and moving into a lucid dream is when I find myself underwater. So oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, that's um crazy. That's one of the ways. That's one of my first clues that I might be dreaming. Wow. But yeah, the uh, the working out a problem, um, and then the teeth. For me, the the grinding of the teeth and pieces of teeth coming out are, is always just a stress deadline. Yeah, well, well, you're probably really grinding your teeth. <laughs> but yeah, I really am grinding my teeth yeah. for sure. Yeah, I sleep pretty soundly. You would think I'd have a lot of demons, but uh, no. <laughs> no why, regrets. Dan? I don't think you. Why would you have any demons? No. Nope. No demons for Dan. None for me. None for Dan. Dan should no, not have any demons. You're you're a good man. You're going to heaven. Yeah. 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 Although, yeah. although Dan, Dan does have dreams about uh, saran wrap that are, I know. I, know. <laughs> those are nightmares. Yeah. I didn't say I didn't have nightmares. I certainly have those. By the way, you know who I know is not watching the show today? Dave. Huh? Dave. No. Ben. Oh, ben. yeah. Ben is absolutely not watching the show. So. Well, gentlemen, it is 7.30. Uh-oh. And even though you don't have chorizo. I, I, I can keep going. I still have work to do on this drawing. But, like, I know that Joe has deadlines and that Dan has children. I have a child. A child. I mean, and, and he's got a child, but he's got that dog thing. Man. <laughs> yeah, the, the, little, the, the mini wolf. Yeah, he's a, he's a very it's, miniature uh, wolf. It is not a wolf. We all know this. That breed is one of the closest to being wild, and he, he definitely <laughs> can manage it. He, yeah. is, he is not a very. Uh, when you say wild, you mean it's it's the closest to being prey, because yeah. uh, well, I mean he is kind of tiny. Um, yep. He's adorable. The dog is he's... the dog is almost one pound. Yeah. <laughs> a whole pound? He's almost a full pound now. That's why, impressive. Why did you? I mean, we told you. Why did you get that thing? He's a six-month-old dog, and he's almost a full pound. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> it's just adorable. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. So Jeff's, Jeff may have a point. Yeah. I think that it's time that we free our uh, our viewers to move on with their lives. And, um, <laughs> oh, really? We're, we're keeping them? <laughs> we're, keep, we're, we're captivating them in such a way. I think they feel sorry for us in some ways. They're like, oh, God. Right, that part I get. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I, I would, I'd have to agree with that. We, we, we get sympathy views. That's what we're getting. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we Man, I, had, I have to say that. Uh, I mean, we, we could be sitting here monetizing hate, but we're not. We're just. No. We'll, we'll, t- we'll take the sympathy views. <laughs> yeah. Monetizing no. non-silliness is what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say, Dan, even me doing my version of Gene and trying to ink it has been a nightmare. Yeah, it looks really good. I mean, let's take another look at that. Um, I I kind of cheated and just went like no gene whatsoever, except the fact that I drew yeah, you know, part of the duck. But that looks really cool. Nice. What we used to call monster lighting. I don't know what we call that on the legs or. Uh, yeah, I've always heard it was grotesque lighting. Um, I like everything with that. Yeah, Thanks. Really cool. Double light source. Yeah, no, it's awesome. It really looks cool. It's um, hard as hell. That's why I do it. I don't take any shortcuts like you guys. <laughs> it, it is tricky. Yeah. To rock around. Hang yeah, on. I mean, since, since, since we're on the subject matter, hold on, hold on. Uh, I guess I, I, I guess I could show you guys something. Ooh, what? Let's see. What? What? Let's see. What? No, what? Hang on, hang on. I just I have to I have to bury some layers here because 
I can't remember. Everything's top the, secret with you. The stuff I'm working on. I love that. But Nothing's very top secret with me. No. Even someone else's secrets. Mostly other people's secrets. Yeah. Also, nobody cares. Well, there is that. Yeah. Hold on a second. Uh, I feel like I'm keeping everybody now. I think it's okay. Is it? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. How are the duck trapped in a world he never made? No, none of us made it our, our worlds, Howard. Let no. me, uh, I didn't create my world, Howard the duck. Oh, damn. Jesus. Give me a second, guys. Sorry, I'm just trying to no worries. block out some. Hey, Howard the duck. He's a duck I'm just throwing, I'm throwing in some black. Howard the duck. I didn't make my world either. Am I trapped? No. Am I, am I a complainer like little Howard? Uh, yeah, you are. I do complain a lot. Jesus oh, God. Um, your complaining is endless. I hang on. See, this is all. I do feel. I am one of those guys where I do feel like the world owes me a little bit. <laughs> all right, we're doing monster lighting. Hang on. Let's see the monster lighting. I don't think really? you even understand what monster lighting is. I may not. I never heard it referred to that until you guys were talking about it. Jeff used to refer to it as that, and I'm like, I listen to Jeff. I actually, I think it's called grotesque lighting. So anyhow, I used to call it monster lighting when we were friends. I've heard it referred to as key lighting. Ah, interesting. But, you know. So, all right, Dan, you can share my screen here. Let's see it. I'll get Ben to do that. Hold on. Right. Oh, I forgot. Ben disowned us. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, that's nice. Look at that, everybody. Yeah. Ooh, so, very cool. So, you know, all this is monster, monster esque right there. In fact. Yeah, I like that. I like that reflected light. Yeah. So, nice. Character here. Who is that character? I can't tell you. Can't say. say. I do like that. That rim lighting is nice. Yeah, but it, it is it is time consuming. It is definitely time consuming. Yeah, well, but it does care. it does read well, and especially if someone colors it uh, well, it really pops. Yeah, well, that's that's why I always refer to it as key lighting, right? Because if you're if okay. you're hitting the if you're hitting the face, you know, with a, a warm light on, let's say, on on the on the right of the face, the the brighter side. Yeah, then, uh, you want to hit that that opposite side with a cooler light, or vice versa, either or, and the face totally. will pop like a mofo so yeah yeah well there you go we got a little lesson yeah. and we snuck in a lesson and it? there's a lesson to be had was it talked about gene snuck so, in a little bit of a lesson if dave was here he would have learned a little something i think dave understands key lighting pretty well oh yeah true does he yeah <laughs> find out we'll find out <laughs> in the next episode yeah. yeah i don't see him here do you see him here no no i do not all right I see someone who's abandoned us yeah. when we needed him most when when Ben left us. Yeah. So I'm gonna go on I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that that no, Dave does not understand key lighting. He's not here. <laughs> We're here, maybe. I'd love him to show us some key lighting. Look, 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 yeah, look spot at me spotting there. blacks. I know it's so you're not it's one of the things you hate the most. Hold on, let's, I'm let's not good at it. Today you I'm are not, I'm not see, yeah, you think you're not good at it. You're good at it. Look at you, Jeff. Well, I mean, I was looking at a lot of Gene Colon today, so I was inspired. Maybe you need to do that every day. I do. I mean, I honestly, there's a lot. There's never the learning process never ends, Dan. It never ends. Well, they say when you stop Dan, learning, for Dan, you stop learning, Jeff? you stop growing. Jeff. Oh, I know, yeah. I know Jeff doesn't stop growing, but Dan. Right. I stopped growing. A long time ago. All right. All right, gentlemen. Hard out. <laughs> Let's call it a night. <laughs> Let's call it a night. That was Man. good times. I'm just Fun. getting warmed up, though. Yeah, I am. You're finished. I'm almost done. Yeah. Hold on. Let me switch cams because I, I like to say hello to everybody. And, you know. Let me do that also as we sign off. You can say hello to all, all five people who are on. <laughs> a lot of people are interested in my life, Joe. I matter. It's true. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I all right. Found an entire Michelob Ultra. I, I know that's like sixty-four calories. 
Yeah. No, it's, it's a lot more than I thought for a beer that doesn't taste that good. <laughs> you, know, you know what's outstanding? My hair is still spiky. I like it. There you it's go. beautiful. You made it through the whole show. Actually, oh, I got to be honest. Michelob Ultra is pretty good. It's not a bad beer. Yeah. Done. Finished it. All right, gang. It was a pleasure hanging out. Uh, yeah. Gene Colon is amazing. Dan, you did a good thing. Joe, yeah. thanks for showing us rim lighting. Yeah. Or key lighting. Why do you call it rim lighting? <laughs> Well, because uh, I'm 50 now, and it's all I think about. Uh, nothing like a good rim job, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, guys. All right. Toodaloo. I'm going to hit the uh, end, end broadcast, and then we're all – oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Last week, we had a really good thing going. We all said one nice thing about – Okay, it. let's yeah. go. Wait Dan, a minute. Dan. We all said one nice thing about Gene Colon. Gene Colon is a genius. Yep. I like Gene. Done. Love Gene's work. Yeah. Amazing. I love Amazing. it. Great. Great ending. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, you guys. Bye.